Some of you have been asking me to be balanced in my videos, to expose as much dirt on the other parties. My question is, what dirt on which parties? I've looked at the parties we have and I've made my assessment based on the information available. And I must say, so far, it has been like comparing a car with a little dust versus a muddy car, like a really dirty car. And yes, there is no person that is unbiased. I certainly have things I believe in. I certainly am against rubbish politicians and rubbish policies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hashtag smart voters. Hashtag citizen concerned. As always, beware of the comrades. How can I not be biased? <laughs> it's like good food versus bad food. I'm here telling you guys that we can't eat Julia's servings because it's poisonous. Many people have eaten food like this before and died. Who would be unbiased when comparing poisonous food with healthy food? Compare Julius Malema to Herman Mashaba. With the information available to me, I cannot. Because Herman Mashaba seems like a patriot who cares about this country. And while he has his own flaws, his flaws are nothing when compared against the flaws of Cyril Ramaphosa or Julius Malema. Herman Mashaba was a mayor for a few years, in which time he managed to expose some of the rot in South Africa, improve the lives of some South Africans, all while keeping his hands out of the piggy bank. He did not enrich himself or his family. As far as I know, the DA has its flaws, but those flaws are nothing when compared to the ANC or the EFF. Musima Imane has flaws as well, but again, his flaws are small issues when compared to the flaws of Julius or Cyril. Who in South Africa is as dangerous to our country as the ANC or the EFF? Maybe Gayton McKenzie and Kenny Kunene's party fits into that category. Maybe. And why do I say that? Because they are convicts and no matter how sincere they are, it doesn't seem like the wisest thing to have former robbers and fraud stars as leaders of the state. Let me know if you disagree and share your views as to why. But as far as I'm concerned, you do not put a person who was involved in stealing, swindling people or robbing near public money. And we don't need to imagine what I'm saying here. Just look back at our not so distant past. Jacob Zuma was a criminal too and look at what he did to the country even after Tabumbeki had warned us. We need strong patriots who stand for the growth of South Africa and not the growth of their influence and their pockets. Patriots who will protect law and order even at their own detriment. And dear EFF fans, I know that Malema talks against corruption, but have you forgotten that he was corrupt himself? We all acting like the VBS scandal did not happen. Like Floyd Shibambu's brother Brian didn't benefit from corruption money that was looted from municipalities and savings of poor citizens. Shibambu himself benefited from the same corruption money. Funds that are now being called a loan by Shibambu, Julius and the EFF. <laughs> Imagine that. And we're just gonna believe them. We're just gonna believe them. It is a fact that he has a Range Rover bought from the same corruption money, from the savings of poor citizens, our Magogos, our Malumas, who trusted a black-owned bank and regret it to this very day. The audacity of this guy. Then he goes on to say, anyone who has evidence that I have dealt with VPS must come forward. Where was the evidence that Zuma had dealings with ESCOM? Where was the evidence that Zuma dealt with SAA? He used other people like Dudumieni, right? So the EFF wants us to act like people with no common sense. But all we need to do is follow the money. The money ended up in Floyd Shivambu's bank accounts. It ended up as a Range Rover driven by Shivambu. Similar to how the money ended in building Nkandla. There's no evidence that Zuma went to ask for money to renovate Nkandla, but we follow the money. The money ended up building Zuma's house, therefore Zuma is corrupt. Don't tell me about evidence. Police officers will arrest you if they find you in possession of stolen property. Why is that not the same standard for these people? 
This is what I stand for and I'm not going to pretend that I see everyone's level of dirt being the same. And please don't come here to try to make me hunt for racist allegations that come with no evidence just to balance the scales of race politics, just to prove to you that I'm not bored, that I am not anti-black. I have gone to look for evidence against DA, Action SA, Patriotic Alliance and many other parties and although none of them are perfect, no one has as much dirt or dirt that stinks like the EFF and the ANC. In my opinion, no one poses as great a danger as these two parties and I refuse to look away, to act blind, to act like I can't see it or to shut up about the danger they pose because it offends you. And just a heads up, prepare yourself because I will make more and more and even more videos showing you the dirt that the ANC and the EFF have so that when you go to the polls, you go with a sober mind knowing what danger you are putting this country in. I want you to know that if the country turns into rubbish, it is all your fault. I want you to know that you voted for the criminals that destroy this country. If your heart and head are not ready, please unsubscribe and unfollow because chest pains are likely to follow. Also, no one is stopping you from creating your own channel and exposing whoever you want to expose, whoever you think I am failing to expose. No one is stopping you. Some of you even ask me stupid questions like, why now? You're just trying to be relevant. Why are you only starting to make videos of politics now? Why when we are approaching the 2024 elections? Tell me, when was I supposed to start making the videos? Since you are the expert on when people should start fighting for their country, please tell me, when was I supposed to start with the videos? After the elections? After you had voted for these people? I am concerned about my country. I am concerned about my livelihood. I am concerned about my children whom I want to have a better life in a better country than I have. And unfortunately, I have not seen it under the NC and I cannot see that happen under the EFF. If you still haven't, go look at the socialist countries that they want South Africa to emulate and tell me if you still think that they want to further your interests. If you still think that they are your hope for black empowerment. Cuba is suffering guys, Venezuela is suffering, Argentina suffered, so they voted for a change now. They have a president who is shutting down all socialism. Why? Why would they vote for him if all things are going well under the socialist governance? Why would they vote for him if socialism is so great? China suffered due to socialism under Mao Zedong and soon after he died, they changed that. Russia too suffered during the times of Stalin's socialist reign and they changed that when he died. A man driven by hatred is now telling us to start following socialism and I see that a lot of our citizens are supporting him and you want me to be quiet, to just keep quiet, like are you okay? Why would I keep quiet when I can see someone leading the country I love down a path that has been proven to be destructive to its current and future citizens? Why? You want to be a clever black, Uncle Ruckus, listen to your fake made up accent, white monopoly agent who is funding you. What do you mean who is funding me? I have a job, I get paid, I buy a camera, I get paid, I buy a microphone, where when I'm not working, I do research. What research did you do before supporting the EFF? You don't need a job or a camera or a microphone to do research. I ask people to fund me on my YouTube channel because I have no funding. So who is funding me? Citizens who are concerned about the way things are going are funding me. People who are tired of the nonsense just like me are funding me. I want Cyril Ramaphosa and Julius Malema to start trending for what they really are and not for their lies that many believe in. I'm not here to plant division. The ANC and EFF are in charge of that department. Their message is nothing if they don't mention colonialism. Their message is nothing if they don't mention apartheid. And as we have established, that is a sign of a victim mentality. Everything is about white monopoly capital. Who asked you to spend your money on white monopoly capital companies? I didn't. 
White Monopoly Capital is White Monopoly Capital because you gave them your money. Multi Choice is White Monopoly Capital. Did you stop watching it? No. FNB is partly owned by the Ruperts. Did you stop using it? No. Our insurance is owned by them. Are you not insured by them? By now, anyone willing to do research and learn the skill can build a streaming service, but you would rather watch Showmax and be glued to your screen while they present you with nudity and sex, with stories about blessers and betrayal. You can learn to program and build your own Netflix or your own Showmax, but you would rather support the white monopoly capital with your money. White Monopoly Capital cannot be White Monopoly Capital without you buying from them. So don't try to tell me I am being funded by White Monopoly Capital because I can turn around and tell you that you are funding White Monopoly Capital. Nespers funded the National Party during apartheid and they now own Take A Lot. Where do you buy from online? Don't try to be sly with me. Do you not give your money to Take A Lot? Computer programming languages are free today, hence you can build your own online shops for free and put them on Play Store and iStore for a teeny tiny fee. Don't tell me that I'm only fighting against black leaders when I fight against the leaders that you like. What about Herman Mashaba? What about Musi Maimane? Why don't you support them? Am I fighting them? You ask me these stupid questions because you know that your leaders are dirty and you're hoping that other leaders are just as dirty as your leaders, even when you can tell that they are not. You don't care because you think and you hope that the EFF will look out for your interests if they come to power. So you're sticking to them like a leech, failing to realize that they will look out for themselves and their families. This is a proven trait of people that advocate for ideas similar to those advocated for by the EFF and the ANC. I make these videos for smart voters who want facts, who care about real change, who care about protecting our borders and our economy. You would rather support people that like to keep South Africa divided and that's your choice. You don't have to be here, you don't have to watch. It seems like you have a serious role model problem. You don't look up to the best people our communities have to offer. You love elevating the dishonest people from your communities. Gone are the days of praising people like Mandela, Martin Luther King and the likes. We now have criminals as role models. The Zumas, Malemas, Shivambus, Kunenes and Mackenzies. This is me and what I stand for, like it or not. Facts first, cry later. Thank you very much for being here. Share, like and repost this video. Hashtag smart voters, hashtag citizen concerned. As always, beware of the comrades.